guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to another vlog. I said that I was going to do a vlog once a week and I said it might be on Sunday and I've decided it's just kind of going to be any day during the week but I'm only going to do it once so between Monday and Sunday I'm going to be doing one vlog during the week if I can find something to talk about. Now today I have something to talk about because one of you actually asked me a question on Ask FM. Well it wasn't really a question, it was more of a video request. I will read out in a sec, and the person who wrote it, you don't have to feel like worried that I'm going to say your name, because one, it's anonymous, so I have no idea who actually sent it, and uh, two, I don't think anyone will actually know who it is anyway, but it is a good video idea, and I really hope it helps you out a bit with this video. Um, as you all know, and if you don't know already, then you obviously haven't been up to date with my videos, I am engaged to my fiance Charlotte, and she's been in quite a few of my videos, she's been in the Whisper Challenge, Questions and Cream. That's my favourite, and also the Disney challenge recently. I'm not sure if it's been anymore, maybe? Yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, this message someone sent me, it was over Ask FM, it says, Hey, uh, sorry, but I'd like to request a video, you see, I'm looking to get engaged soon, and I know from friends and Facebook that you did, so I was wondering if you could make a video of the experience of the day, and thoughts, slash feelings, and family, friends' judgement. Also, if you know a good jewellery stop, jewellery shop, not well, it says jewellery stop, but I presume she meant jewellery shop. Thank you. And I messaged her back saying, I'll get right on it, and thank you for messaging me. If any of you do have any video requests, but you don't want your name to be shown in the comments, then Ask FM is really good, because it is anonymous, I have no idea who sent it. And, um, even if you want to just send me abuse, go for it, send me it on there, I'll still probably reply to it. There are some things that I haven't replied to, because I was going to be using for it. Q&A video, I haven't done one of those in a while because you guys just don't seem to be asking me questions, so that's fine, you just don't want to know much. <laughs> so, um, yeah, in answer to that question, I did get judged a lot, but I should have really expected it because I got engaged at 16. Now, a lot of people are going to think, oh no, what's he doing that for? He's got his whole life ahead of him, yada, 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 yada. I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, you know when you find the person you want to spend your life with, you just have that feeling in you, you just know it's them. I mean, there are a lot of people who think they know the right person, then it doesn't work out, etc. I mean, I'm expecting it to work out with Charlotte, because we both feel the exact same way, and she's practically my best friend, and we do everything together, we know everything about each other, well not everything according to that questions and cream video, but a lot of things we have a lot in common so it really does work and obviously we've got the same sense of humour so that's always good. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah I got engaged at 16, Charlotte was 15 at the time, so a lot of people would be like, oh that's so wrong, why'd you get engaged so young? As I said before, you know when you find the one, it's just that feeling, you just know it. It's like your other half and you just know it's them. Sorry if this is getting soppy, but I'm a soppy person. Um, so yeah, no from friends on Facebook. Yes, it did get spread around a lot, so a lot of people do know about it, and there are a lot of judgments about it, etc. As I said again, I did get judged a lot um, for, I think, quite a few months before I actually did get engaged. Um, joking about it, when you're getting married, uh, etc. What, what shop you're going to to get the ring, etc. But they weren't saying it as general questions, the questions they were saying it in a mocking kind of way. But I just let it roll off. I mean, it's not their lives, it's my life. If I love someone, I am going to make them mine forever. So take that, Charlotte. <laughs> okay. But still. Um, how they make a video on the experiences of the day. Right, okay. So what happened is me and Charlotte have this place that we went to before and we really liked it up where I live. It's um, up high in the hills. There's a rock we call a crocodile rock. One, because it's very creative because it looks like a crocodile. <laughs> creative name. So we went up there and when we go out onto crocodile rock you can see the whole town. You can see neighbouring villages, it's just so nice and when we went up there it was a really nice day. Luckily when I did get engaged on that day, it was a really nice day as well so that made it even better. It was nice and sunny. It'd be a bit bad if it was raining but you know I'd still do it anyway. You know, weather doesn't really matter if you're in love with someone. Um, experience of the day, so that was, we kind of went up there and we saw it as our place, you know like our own special place. We really enjoyed being up there together, it was like just there for us, very secluded. You could just see the scenery was amazing, it just looked so beautiful. 
and then, um, yeah, me and Charlie decided that was our place. So I was just thinking, hmm, where's the best place to propose? Like, a lot of people propose in maybe a favourite restaurant, different country, holiday, etc. But I just went for it when I was in our place. Then there was the issue of family and friends judgement, which you mentioned in the comment as well, like thoughts, feelings, family, friends, judgement. Friends didn't judge too harshly, because friends are friends, they're there for you, if they're real friends they'll stick by you with whatever decision you make. Obviously if you have supportive friends it's a lot better, but there are those people who just won't support you and they'll just leave you thinking you're weird or whatever, but that shouldn't stop you, because it's your life. If they don't want to be part of that life, then why are you even friends with them? You don't need that in your life. You need positivity, optimism, and uh, everything that will help you get your support that you need. Family-wise, um, I told my nan first, because obviously my nan's always been supportive of me, and I don't think she'd really ever turn me against anything. If I said I was really passionate about it and I really wanted to do it, she'd always support me to do it, unless it was to kill someone, and then obviously she'd probably call the police. But <laughs> anything that I'm really passionate about, she will help me out with it, pretty much no matter what the cost, because she's always been there. I told her about it, and she told me that I really did need to tell my mom about it. So obviously I told my mom, etc. And at first, she wasn't too keen on it, because obviously my age at the time, 16, she wasn't too keen on it, which is understandable, because obviously I'm really young. Um, and people that get engaged really young, most often they don't always stay together. But me and Charlotte definitely have a really good chance, and I'm really looking forward to the future together. <laughs> but yeah, so family, probably, if they're a supportive family, then it's good, because they will obviously probably give you some advice to start with and then say if you want to do it yourself, if you want to do it, then go for it because they want you to be happy. And if this person that you wanted to get engaged to you makes you happy, then what's stopping you? If you want to be with them for the rest of your life, if you want to be happy with them for the rest of your life, what's stopping you getting engaged? I mean, it is a big commitment and obviously I was ready to make that commitment because I really love Charlotte. That's what made me want to make that extra commitment to just prove to her just how much I actually want to be with her. So, at the end of the day, if you're really passionate and you really love someone and you're really in love with someone, nothing should stop you from taking the next step. Apart from the only thing that should stop you is yourself. If you're not feeling confident about it, I'd say don't do it. But if you think that people are going to be supportive Obviously not everyone's going to be supportive, take that in mind, not everyone is going to support you, depending on your age and everything, not everyone is going to support you with it. But if you have those small groups of people that do support you, they're the only people you need. But I'd say, if this person who has messaged me wants to get engaged and is worried about other people, I'd say do it. If you really want to do it, then do it, simply because if other people don't like it, screw them. You don't need them, they're not the ones getting engaged, you are, it's your life, okay? If you really love someone, then go for it. Don't let anything stop you. I really hope this video has helped you out, and if anyone else wants to request a video, or maybe ask me to talk about a topic or whatever in a vlog, then just ask FM me. Ask FM me, that's the thing, just ask FM me. <laughs> but also, if you want to ask me any questions, I will answer them. I'll probably answer them in a video as well, so if I don't answer them straight away, just know that I'm probably making a video on it. Um, so yeah, I really hope this does help the person that did message me. If you want to ask me any more questions, ask a femi. Ask a femi. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you liked this video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. But for now, I'll see you later.